94 athletic season. Gets us underway. Away we go from Klockner Stadium. Cavaliers last season, just three losses, but not enough wins to find themselves on the good side of the NCAA selection committee. Virginia won eight games last year, but six draws weighed down their resume. You see a evolving back line this year for Virginia. Kiki Mackey, the senior from Naples, Florida, getting the start at center back. Started four games last year. She is a day one starter here on opening day. And also Moira Kelly graduate student who transferred from the University of Kansas and that back line being tested immediately. And here comes Towson on the attack chance for the Tigers to take an early lead here. Pierre has the ball knocked away by retreating Una McCormack and it is the Tigers who are on the front foot. Corner kick for Towson. First career start for M11. She is their set piece specialist as a true freshman. Popped in by Levin. Cleared by Alexis Theoretz. So the first sign of fangs come from the Tigers. Temperatures right around 80 degrees tonight. A slight wind. Here's McCormack. It's a heavy first touch. It's put her in a spot of bother. Safford in coming off of her line. Here's Tatum Galvin. Kelly. A couple early season touches for UVA. Not a lot of preseason afforded in the women's soccer world. It's funny you Walk into this stadium tonight, and you'll hear the music from the Virginia football team practicing across the street. They get a full four-week run-up before their first game. Women's soccer, they're playing games from pretty much a week after the players report on grounds. For Towson, coming off the best season in program history, their first NCAA tournament appearance. Pick to finish third in the CAA preseason polls. Towson as a team, 43 goals last year. 37 of them graduated. What an incisive pass that is. Cagle latching on. Virginia's first foray. Retrieving is Alexandra Rush. One back by Cagle. First time service. Sizzling across the six. Reclaimed by Ali Ross. Tigers trying to hit Virginia on the counterattack. And winning the whistle is Kalia Perry. One of the several New faces on this Towson roster. They, like every other school, dipped into the transfer porter, portal. And Perry was a top 100 recruit, first team all A Sun at Lipscomb, small school powerhouse in Nashville before transferring. Here's Perry. 
wobbling off the challenge of Mackey. And Safford in again closing down. Safford and the undisputed top goalkeeper on this roster for Virginia. Played four games last year as a backup. Everybody always thought that this year would be her year and straight to plan. The number one ranked goalkeeper in her class now starting on opening night. It's a lovely ball to find space. McDermott is offside. The flag is up. So far, rather even six or so minutes. McCormack. Now Cagle. Theoret draws Kelly forward. Diagonal to McCormack. Too far for Cagle. Rolls to the grateful feet of Melendez. High pressure yielding results. Mackey. Cormack slotted for Kegel. Flag is up on the far side. This just the second ever meeting between Virginia and Towson and women's soccer. Got to go all the way back to 1994. That was the first and only time these two schools had met before tonight. Did not go well for Towson. A six to nothing Virginia win, but something that happened in that game has not happened since in Towson school history. Goalkeeper Susie Blanco in that game had a school high in school record, still school record, 26 saves. <laughs> so if you do the math, Virginia had 32 shots on target, one six to nothing, but Susie Blanco still with that school record, 26 saves. Record that now is stretched in to its 30th year. Virginia looking more comfortable on the ball. Theoret. Kegel out wide. Galvin overlaps. It's an inventive ball from Kegel. Over the head of Ali Ross and Melendez claims. For Melendez, the goalkeeper for Towson. If she can somehow walk away with a shutout tonight, she will become the all-time shutout leader in Towson history. Here's Perry. K. 
Tegel. Had an active first 10 minutes. Now, if you're tuning in, expecting to see the return of Virginia's superstar, Leah Godfrey, who missed all of last season with injury, told that most likely we'll see her tonight in a substitute role as she continues to work back from that injury. McCormack wide for Cagle. Going one on one against Lindemann. Still Cagle drawing two Tigers. That's last touch by McCormack over the inline. Una McCormack. Enjoy her in Oahu uniform now because you won't be able to see her in one next month. As she's been called in to play in the U-20 Women's World Cup for the United States. Key. Here's Rouse. Wonderful service. Cagle brings it down. Still loose in the box and scrambled away. Reinserted by Galvin and Melendez up to the task. See if Melendez got a save here. Sure did. The first save of the night for Melendez. Virginia starting to pin Towson back. It's nicely worked to McDermott. Defending is Brooke Burrell. And defending well is Brooke Burrell. Burrell, a transfer from Maryland, one of the several starting Tigers tonight, who was plying their trade at a school other than Towson last year. Cavaliers once again trying to find Cagle, and they do. Perhaps rush from Cagle, who has been all over the left flank today. Cagle named to the second team all ACC squad last year. Talking with Steve Swanson, her head coach, he said she's had a wonderful preseason. The preseason for Virginia, that was not their normal routine. They actually stayed back in Charlottesville. Typically, the team historically has gone to Michigan. Spent time in Michigan scrimmaging, practicing, and enjoying the camaraderie away from grounds. But Coach Swanson telling us he just thought he, he wanted his team. He was banged up last year and a lot of players rehabbing that he just wanted them on their own fields with the doctors nearby, all their rehab equipment nearby, and all the wonderful sports medicine that Virginia has here in Charlottesville. 
McCormack with room to turn. McCormack driving right at the defense. Mackey bombarding forward. Flicked along for McCormack. Gonna stab a foot in, and Melendez with brave goalkeeping. Here's Mittemeyer. Calvary coming. Theoret. Recruiting Kelly forward. Shot from Ross, never got through. Rouse. Theoret. Organized defending from Towson has been hard to break down. Tigers led by Catherine Vittori in her seventh season, last year's CAA Coach of the Year. She knows much about ACC opponents. She was a Duke graduate, one of the great players in Duke's program's history. Suffocating pressure from Virginia. Wonderful run by Rouse. Tracking back to defend is Perry. As far as Theoret. Kelly. McCormack. Punched along to Theoret. See what Rouse can do. Now Ross. Rouse unable to get there. Good sliding, sure-footed challenge to send it out for a Virginia corner kick, the first of the season for the Hoos. Welcome sight to see Laney Rouse back. After an Achilles injury, usually a 12-month injury, but she has rehabbed so well to get herself back into the lineup. Here's the corner kick. This is anybody's ball. Still up for grabs. Pinballs around and finally cleared as far as Kelly. Pump back in. And Melendez able to get to it just before McDermott. And play has been stopped. And looks like a Cavalier player can be forced off of the field. That is Tatum Galvin. And 
blood coming from the nose of Galvin. <laughs> on that wild scramble in the box. So Galvin having to go underneath the stadium to be checked on. Does mean that Samar Gidry will check in for the Hoos. Obviously don't want to see it under these circumstances, but it is a moment to celebrate Samar Gidry. Just 14 minutes away from 5,000 in her career. Player who's working off of a slight injury, working her way back into full match fitness. If you notice, follow Virginia soccer for a while. You've probably definitely gotten used to seeing Samar Gidry, considering this is her fifth season. And you will notice a different number. She's been coveting the number 18 for a long time, and it finally opened up. It was worth waiting for. Here's Gidry's first touch. Okay, goal. Wants to try a Lindemann. Takes it right at her. Puts her on ice skates. Gidry's service. It's knuckling. Falls in a precarious position. McDermott had a chance. And Melendez has been active from her goalkeeper position. She's had great command of the penalty area. Just what you'd expect from one of the top goalkeepers maybe in the country. Talking with one of the Virginia assistants before this game started, she said it was hard to scout Towson just because they had so many new faces and they lost so many starters from last year, but where they sure did start the or scout the goalkeeper. Melendez a known quantity. And here's Mackey. Headed up, but not away. Ross, McCormack. Cagle to McCormack, back to Cagle. And cleared away. Virginia going right back to work, Theoretz. Kelly has looked comfortable. McCormack. Inventive, creative. Towson up to the task. One back, and Towson now a chance for a rare counterattack. Perry bearing down on Mackey. Perry's shot is a good one. It's off the crossbar. A bolt out of the blue. And after almost 20 straight minutes of defending, Towson with the best chance of the game. Now this game opening up. Ross hunting down the service. Late run coming from Mittemeyer. 
Rolled towards Cagle. Mittemeyer's on the back post, chested down. And more stout, confident defending from the Tigers on the road. So a little over the halfway point of this opening frame. Towson had a good chance early in the first minute or so. After that, it was all Virginia. And then just like that, Kalia Perry nearly breaking this deadlock for the Tigers. Towson making a substitution. Malin Burnt Shops has checked in, a 20 year old freshman from Denmark. Board and service. Pump back in towards Safford in. Rare touch with her hands for Safford in. McCormack with room to turn. Oh, how good is she? Switching the point of attack. Rouse is overlapped. Ross. Touched out by Levin. Rouse, Ross. And Rouse trying to gain the inline, and Lindemann turns her away. Okay, Lady Rouse, the captain. It's a really good showing from Towson on the road. Talking with some of their staff before the game. They were excited about playing on this field. Klockner Stadium, one of the wider and longer pitches, not just in college soccer, but in the United States. This is a full international field. And for Towson, I also appreciate the natural grass. They play on turf. A lot of their conference opponents play on turf. In fact, last year, Towson played 20 games only five of those were on natural grass surfaces. And this is a quick surface. The grass is cut low. They water the field before the game, too, so the ball moves fast. This is a player's surface. Cormac on her horse. McDermott in the box awaiting. Slotted backwards in the direction of McDermott. And now Perry fighting off Theoret. Borden crawling forward. Patiently given to Pierre. Now Virginia forced to defend in its own half. A moment to breathe for the Tigers. A rare spell of possession. And it ends at the feet of Mackey.
Fioret picks out Rouse. Punched along to Ross. That's good defending. Courtney Boot-Leon, the transfer from LaSalle. Senior hails from Australia. As Virginia making substitutions. Fresh faces including Lost track of who was in there, I'm sorry. The wholesale substitutions, get you caught up on them in a moment, but first this corner kick. Cagle sent in, Melendez closing off the near post. Towson moving forward. Numbers arriving in the box. And Laney Rouse forced to do some last minute defending. So I was pausing about the substitutions because number 31 checked in for Virginia and they don't have a 31 on the roster. Well, that is Tatum Galvin who started this game wearing 17. We saw her leave with a bloody nose just moments ago. And she is now wearing the clean jersey of number 31 so galvin at number 31 for virginia he she defends the back post on this towson corner kick their second of the night easily snared by safferton excellent distribution and now virginia on the run on side here comes meredith mcdermott's Either off the defender or the goalkeeper. And in the end, Towson earns the goal kick. Another substitution for Virginia. Smart Gidry's stint on the sideline lasts about a minute. And Laney Rouse. To take a breather. Virginia out shooting Towson six to one. Tigers without a shot on goal. They hit the crossbar though. It technically doesn't go down as a shot on goal. Here's Laughlin Ryan. Slammed away as far as Kelly. Gidry. Stout defending. Gidry wins it back though. Sliding in. McCormack drawing three defenders. And no nonsense defending from Taylor Tolson. Tolson, the transfer from Coastal Carolina. She's had her hands full tonight. So far, a mistake free first half for Towson. As Virginia just sending wave after wave. Cagle and McCormack, the two players 
Preparing this set piece for Virginia. Maybe something scripted here. Fiorent. Oh, what a ball that is, but the flag is up. Well, they haven't been in preseason for long for the first game, but enough time on the training ground to come up with a set piece routine. That's a heavy touch. Now it's McCormack slaloming through. Ryan! The substitute strikes. And Virginia has the breakthrough. The opening goal of the 2024 season. Laughlin Ryan, her first career collegiate goal. Take a look at the replay. Wonderful spot by McCormack. Sure-footed finish over the outstretch hand of Melendez. And now Virginia imposing itself. Cagle inverted on the right wing. We've seen the introduction of Leah Godfrey off of the sideline. And Godfrey immediately going to work and earning the corner kick. Another corner kick for Virginia. Great to see the return of Leah Godfrey. First team All-American in 2022. Injured during the offseason last year. We're going to ease her into this year. Theorette to take the corner. Yeah, Kelly had a chance at it. Couldn't get a full purchase. Now for a goal kick. Reese Borden exits for Towson, and we'll see Danielle Campbell. Her 36th career appearance for the Tigers. Tight quarters. on was Maya Carter. One back by Fioret. For the Cavaliers, a program that once they get a lead, they rarely give it up. They've gone over five seasons without losing a game in which they led it. Godfrey. Melendez, this is a tricky ball. She's able to claim. So yeah, five seasons or more for Virginia without losing a game in which they took a lead in. And they lead now 1-0.
Can't script a better mid-August evening for an opening game. Thankfully, this game wasn't last week <laughs> when Tropical Storm Debbie was rolling through Charlottesville and dumping about six inches of rain. Cagle. Can she get there? Sure can. Cagle is relentless. Tremendous stand-up defending from Lindemann. Not many players in the country can do that. Dispossessed Maggie Cagle in a one-on-one. -on -one. Galvin. Oh, how neat this is from Virginia. Ryan bearing down. Perry hit the crossbar in this first half. That was before Virginia took the lead. Maya Carter on the ball. Carter is on side if she can get there, and she can. Virginia making a substitution. Ella Carter, the sophomore, replacing Una McCormack. Carter, native Virginian, top 30 recruit out of Leesburg. Red is the pivot point. Kidry. The goal scorer, Laughlin Ryan. One back at the feet of Ella Carter, the substitute. Ryan. It's a good ball. Godfrey brought it down, but the flag is up on the far side on Maya Carter. Falls to Carter. Godfrey making a run. It's Leah Godfrey was leaning back all along. What a story that would have been. Godfrey in her first game back, seeking that first goal. If you're unfamiliar with Virginia women's soccer, you probably notice a lot of the players with what looks like tattoos on their legs or on their arms in black ink. It's actually the words all in, which has been a long tradition of players. They're not tattoos. They simply just take markers, wash them off, but all in written on various limbs. Some players might just do a small one on their wrist, or in the case of Laughlin Ryan, she Essentially writes all in over her thighs and knees of both legs. So as a way back into this for Towson, set pieces is an avenue. M11, the freshman, is their set-piece specialist. 
Virginia holding a high line. Players shielding their eyes from the sun. 11th service. Falls to Godfrey of Virginia. Her number's in front. Really composed from UVA to be able to break out of tight quarters. And now Gidry. Final two minutes of the opening half. Carter. Ryan. And that shot from Ella Carter. Not able to wait, find its way through. And the Cavaliers prod away again. Cagle. Smoothly done. Carter back to Cagle. Theoretz. Godfrey. One of the best players in the country with the ball at her feet. Wonderfully switched to Ryan. Carter. More superb defending. This time, Brooke Burrell. Be one more chance left for either team in this half. Gidry in a race against the clock. Gidry. <laughs> Entrepreneurial spirit all the way to the final horn. So after 45 minutes of soccer, Virginia. So here we go. The second half. No overtime in college soccer. 45 minutes to go. That is a hard deadline. Virginia leading one to nothing and now attacking towards the entrance of the stadium. As I said in the first half, Virginia over five seasons without losing a game in which it had a lead. Towson coming off that sparkling season last year. When they made their first NCAA tournament appearance. Gave a scare to North Carolina, too. Went down to North Carolina in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Scored the opening goal. And here's Virginia, though, to start the second half. That touched off of a Towson foot. And Melendez does well to preserve the possession. By the way, speaking of North Carolina women's soccer, want to send our best wishes to Anson Dorrance, the legendary head coach of the UNC women's soccer team announcing his retirement just last week. Oh, 
Mittemeyer slotted through. McDermott is onside, and it falls to Allie Ross cleared off the goal line. That was Brooke Burrell saving the goal. Really heady defending from Burrell. Here is Burrell. Virginia's high pressure. Handing the ball to McDermott. Now the Hoos will recalibrate at the feet of Maki. Rouse in tight quarters. Coolly done by Maki. Cagle. Looking inward, Mittemeyer. Ross on her left foot, trying to pick out that corner. Allie Ross, six goals last year in her true freshman campaign, nearly opening her account. Cavaliers once again on the attack, but it fizzles out after the shot from Mittemeyer. Melendez up to three saves. 23 less than the last time a Towson goalkeeper came to Glockner Stadium. Goalkeeper Susie Blanco's school record of 26 saves still stands. And now Towson a chance to tie this game. Kalia Perry. It's an inviting service. Sure hands from Safferton. Safferton hasn't had to make a save tonight. Player who now a full international for the Croatian national team was called up for European competition over the summer. Didn't play in her call up, but that time will come. I'm talking about Virginia's goalkeeper, Victoria Safford, and Steve Swanson, her head coach, I was talking to him. He said, as far as keeping the ball out of the net, she is one of the best he has ever seen at the college level. Had to wait her time. Didn't walk in as a starter. Just four appearances last year in a backup role. Cagle bombarding in. Trying to find an angle and cut it back. Able to win the corner kick. Corner kick for the Cavaliers. This will be the fifth corner of the night for UVA. Mittemeyer calculating. Swept into a dangerous area. Rolls as far as Cagle. The service in front claimed by Melendez. She has been as good as advertised. 
Great distribution, too. A couple times tonight we've seen that. Ross. The run in behind from McDermott. Tolson catches up. McDermott. Never had the angle. Covered all along by Melendez had she put it on target. Angle was always acute. Virginia out shooting Towson 13 to 1. But remember that one for Towson hit the crossbar. There is still a result in question in this game. Towson has shown prowess off of a counterattack, but Virginia's got him pinned back now. How many gray shirts you see behind the ball? Galvin, the wonderful McCormack. Rouse. Virginia pressing, winning it back. Ross. And scrambling the ball away was Tolson who's been sure-footed all night. And the whistle comes. Virginia. Foul on Virginia, and that'll allow Towson a chance to breathe. Our center official tonight, Sergio Gonzalez, hasn't had a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> In fact, Hasn't blown the whistle against Towson all night. The Tigers don't have a single foul called. McCormack has Ross in front. Rare mistake from one of the bright young talents in women's college soccer. McCormack spots Cagle. Calvin overlapping. Cagle, that's deflected. And once again, Riley Melendez. Not just making the save, but preventing any spill. Oh, that's slotted through, and this could be the second, but Melendez able to turn away McDermott. How good is this goalkeeper? Riley Melendez. Save number five of the night for Melendez.
for your red exploring her options. Ross. One back by Maki. Kelly. Organized defending from Towson. McCormack, diagonal ball, and it leaks through to Ross. Mackey invited forward. Ross. Ross slides in. Notch another save for Melendez. Save number six. Theoret dancing through. It's still Theoret. Options left. Goes alone. Down the floor for yet another save is Melendez. Well, she's going to sleep well on the bus ride home back up to Baltimore tonight. Her seventh save. Wonderful ball to pick out Reese Borden. And there is the first save for Victoria Safferton on oh, the most speculative of efforts from Borden. That goes down as the first shot on target for Towson. If you hit the crossbar in college soccer, soccer in general, it does not count as a shot on target. <laughs> even though it literally hits the target. <laughs> One back by Ross. All effort from McDermott, nearly able to win it back. Shoved off by Tolson. Sturdy defending from Tolson. Not easy to win a tussle with Meredith McDermott. And now the Tigers making a substitution. And Tolson's tank nearing empty. Crystal Loro replaces her. Virginia bringing in its goal scorer in Laughlin Ryan. There you see her five in white. And Leah Godfrey has also stepped into the contest. Ryan's 33rd minute goal is the difference. Barting forward is Alexandra Rush. Here, dispossessed by Galvin. Rare chance for Virginia to counterattack. Godfrey. Oh. <laughs> Sending it forward to Ross and overcooked it.
Credit to Towson for keeping this within striking distance. Oh, this is dangerous. Lindemann did just enough. If you're Virginia, perhaps a little frustrated by the lack of output with all the chances that have amounted. It's a lot of the story of last year. Defending Virginia was very good. They, only allowed 11 goals in 17 games, yet didn't score enough goals to make the NCAA tournament. Leah Perry re-enters after a brief stint on the sideline. Courtney Boutlione will check out. It's a Towson throw. McDermott with Ryan making a bombarding run. Slotted to Ryan. Ross arriving. And Ryan just overran her dribble. Ryan didn't play a single game her first three years on grounds. 13 games last year. And a goal tonight in her season debut. Smart Gidry back in. Gidry's 23 minutes in the first half made her eclipse the 5,000 career minute mark. Perry turning. Lindemann. Borden. Closed down by Rouse. Rouse has to address the ball. Turn right back over to Laura. It's much better from the Towson Tigers. You can hear their coaches on the sideline applauding some of that limited possession. Doing an excellent job with this Towson program that for decades was dormant and has since awoken. Trying to find Safford and off of her line. They had another substitution for UVA. Maggie Cagle 
Checks back in. Allie Ross comes to the sideline. Cagle now going to see if she can find some inroads on this right wing. Falls to the feet of Rush. Tremendous defending from Kelly, who's really good in her Cavalier debut. And as she sprung a counterattack here, solid tackle from Loro. Loro had to get it right and did. Great hold-up play from Perry. An expert switch of the ball, too. Traced down by Borden. Service is a good one. And Towson desperate to find the equalizer. Campbell spinning on McCormack. Crossemble. Now Lindemann. Ryan. This game back and forth now. McDermott on her horse. McDermott bearing down to make it two. Cleared off of the line by Loro. Still a chance. Cleared away. Cagle. All in defending from Towson. And finally sent to safety by the Tigers. How inspiring are they? Look at Loro get back. Linesman had a perfect view. I could see him on the sideline, even with the goal line. Now the clock stopped as a Towson player cramping. That's two goal line clearances in this game alone for Towson. Not quite sure who the player is who's down. Captivating couple minutes there. Towson with some chances of its own. And the miraculous defending. And you just wonder with this Towson team if there is one more good look, if there's one more chance in this game to draw level. Their chances have come in half hour spurts. But if you're Catherine Vittori, you have got to be thrilled with the way your team has played this game. Substitution for the Cavaliers, introduced number 21, Chloe Yapel, coming in for number 23, Lily Ross. 
So the player cr cramping was Sidney Lindemann. Long walk for Lindemann. Towson bench on the other side of the pitch. She's been one of the key cogs to this Towson defense. last off of Cagle. Cagle returns to McDermott. Swiped away by Campbell. Cagle will try again. Theoret. McCormick makes the incisive run. Nearly picks out Ryan. Perry. Is this the chance that Towson has craved? Perry doesn't have the numbers. Goes alone. And now space opening up for a Virginia counter. done by Melendez. A player that surely will become Towson's all-time career shutouts leader, just one away in that category. Positive first touch from Gidry. Picks out Ryan, the goal scorer. McDermott in the middle. Ryan goes down and wins the corner kick. Corner kick, Virginia. Entering number 26, Maya Carter. In for number nine. Virginia making a substitution, Maya Carter. Replacing Meredith McDermott. Carter, four goals as a freshman, just one though in her sophomore campaign. But almost a calendar year since she scored. Her only goal last year came in August. Punched away by Melendez. Hunted down by Godfrey. Godfrey. Theoret out wide. Perry. Campbell can't connect with Mullen Burnt Shops. Oh 
Kidry in the middle. Galvin, who was bloodied in the first half, now wearing 31. Started the night in the 17 jersey. It's Ryan with the overlapping run. Carter in the middle. Sure hands from Melendez. You know, not only has she made seven saves tonight, she has not spilled any crosses. She has patrolled the 18. She has commanded the penalty area. She's also gotten a lot of help from her back line, two goal line clearances. Towson making a trio of substitutions. Demi Pierre back in. Player's got 12 career assists. That's the Tigers still hunting an equalizer. And Virginia going to counter with a substitution of its own Leah Godfrey. Replaced by Linda Mittemeyer. Gidry slotting through Maya Carter. The run coming from Mittemeyer. Carter couldn't find her way through. Cagle room to turn. Mittemeyer. Both teams looking low on fuel now. August Heat catching up. The voices you hear from the sideline, those are the Towson coaches. And now Steve Swanson, the Virginia coach, piping up. Theoret. It's an intelligent run from Cagle. Gidry in the middle. Laid off towards Gidry. Off of a Tiger heel. Extracted by Galvin. Ryan. Smart pass. Unlocks the left side for the Tigers to explore. Gidry. Full-blooded defending. Just what you would expect from the fifth-year player. With an engine that never stops.
Fiorette. Dispatches to Ryan. Who as of right now has the game winning goal. Gidry surging forward. Industrious work from Ryan to retrieve the possession with under 10 minutes to go now. Story for Virginia, possession but not production. Substitution for the Hoos. Allie Ross re enters. Laughlin Ryan exits. Towson just a half chance at this point of the game would do. And they may get on the bus dreaming of just what would have happened if Kalia Perry's shot had been a few inches lower in the first half. That was their moment. Tigers striking the crossbar when this game was 0-0. And after that, it's been a KG affair. And leading back to the Cavaliers, number 21, Chloe Yacht. Entering the house, number 34, and 11, coming in with number 11, and Maya Hanson. You start wondering, too, if you're Towson. <laughs> At what point do you just start throwing it forward? Hard to get the ball back. The Tigers going to have to take their chances. Easier said than done. Here's Gidry. Where hasn't she been in this game? Cagle. Theoret continues forward. That's slotted through. Melendez spilled it. Theoret in the vicinity. Rouse first to it. Down goes Borden. Springs Carter. Now Ross. Squared back in front. And over the crossbar from Maggie Cagle of all people. She will wince when the film comes up tomorrow. The goal was gaping. That could have put this away.
still tinkering with their lineups in the 84th minute. Final six minutes. There were no stoppage time in college soccer. No overtime either. At least during the regular season. As Cagle latching on. Calvary bearing down. Cagle goes down. All eyes on center official Sergio Gonzalez. And he awards a penalty kick. And a yellow card. For Marlon Burnt Shops. So Virginia a chance to ice it here. And Cagle has to slot this past tremendous goalkeeper in Riley Melendez. The last time an opponent saved a penalty kick against Virginia, it was 2019. And a yellow card awarded for descent to Sidney Lindemann. Now clock is stopped. And now what's the hold up here? It's a long time for Cagle to stand with the ball at the spot. Sergio Gonzalez is going to take a look at the replay. He's going to take a look at the replay of his call. Crucial call here. Virginia chance to ice it. Towson trying to keep its hopes alive of pulling a result out here at Klockner Stadium. We're going to pull up a replay shortly here. On first glance, my first impression was that the call was harsh. Hmm. Well, <laughs> you be the judge at home. One more look at it. You know, there's no jersey tug. And we still await the call from Sergio Gonzalez. And penalty is confirmed. So Maggie Cagle, a chance to ice this game. Riley Melendez, chance for another moment in her stellar career. Been almost five years since someone saved a goal, a penalty kick against Virginia, and Cagle makes no mistake about it. Sending Melendez the wrong way, and that should finally give the Cavaliers some relief. Eyes up. Eyes up all the time for Cagle. I saw Melendez shifting. Neatly done and 
That'll take some of the sting off the earlier miss for Cagle. To the Ta Towson coaching staff. Got to feel a little bit hard done by the call. Towson head held high, heading up Route 29 towards Baltimore on the way home tonight. It's a Tigers team that's going to be a problem for a lot of the opponents that they face. Cagle, the goal scorer, exits to a round of applause. For the Cavaliers, more daunting schedule ahead. Northwestern on its way over the weekend. Then this day next week on the road at number four Penn State. And is there more now for UVA? I don't know if Melendez has anything to say about it. Maya Carter's effort forces the eighth save of the game for Melendez. Victoria Safferton in range of her second career collegiate shutout. If you're for Virginia, one of the objectives of this game was just working injured players back in to the college game. That objective has been accomplished. Laney Rouse looks superb coming back from the Achilles injury. Laughlin Ryan, a player who's been in getting the goal tonight. We have Godfrey working her way back. If injuries were the story of last year for UVA, overcoming them is the story of this year. Theoret. Is there one more here for UVA? Carter. Ryan. Bombarding run from Gidry down the left. Flank. Flag stays down. Theoret. Produces the throw in. Closing 90 seconds. Game that started in the sunshine, now finishing under the Klockner Stadium lights.
One minute. One minute to play. Ross. Carter. <laughs> Game of possession breaking out. Turning his Mittemeyer, linking up with Maya Carter. Squared in front for Ross. Mittemeyer came crashing in. An emergency defending from Rebecca Grusable. And Mittemeyer just sent it wide. Never got a touch from the Towson defender. That should be perhaps the final touch of this season opener. The seconds tick away in the first contest of the 2024 athletic season for these two schools goes to Virginia. Cavaliers victorious in the season opener.